Hello everyone, welcome to another video of Do The Work. Here we're going to cover question 9 of the Math Proficiency Test for Teachers in Ontario. I encourage you to hit the subscribe button below to support the channel and also to hit the bell button right beside it so you can receive notifications for all future videos. Here we're asked uh, if a parallelogram below will be cut into two congruent triangles, what is the area of each triangle? So essentially, there's different ways to cut this um, rect uh, parallelogram, but I think we could cut it this way to get two triangles. I also think we could cut it this way to get two triangles. But at the end of the day, it doesn't matter because we cut this parallelogram in two and we they, their area will be the same, right? It doesn't matter how you cut it, you find the area of the parallelogram, cut, divide that by two, and you get the answer. So I strongly encourage you to watch this video and attempt this problem by yourself. It should be enough here. It's very high quality video as it's Khan Academy and it's very applicable to this question. So what we have here is um, a parallelogram, we know to find the area, it's base times height, where this is the height, not this. This is not the height, right? 15 meters is not the height, it's, it's like a regular triangle, it's the vertical perpendicular to the base, that's the height. So simply, we just do the area of this parallelogram is just equal to base times height, and that's equal to 12 meters times 11 meters. And that's, let's see here, uh, 12 times 12 is 144. So you subtract one from that. So that's 132. But let's do it in our calculator. We have access to it for this question. And it is 132. So I don't think we need it here, but 132. And then meters times meters, what is that? Well, that's a meter squared. That's how we deal with areas. If we just had a length, that's one meter. That's just one meter. If we had a one meter by one meter, that's one meter squared. That's area, that's length. And for volume, it would be a cube, right? It'd be one meter times one meter times one meter. So the area is 102 meters. I'm tempted to say it's C, however, don't forget what the question is. Don't get caught. The question is, the parallelogram below will be cut into two congruent triangles. So let's say that we cut it like so. We would, um, we would divide the area by two. So let's say that is step one, then step two, the area of each triangle is the area of the par parallelogram divided by two. So it's 132 meters squared divided by two. And that's, uh, it's not 70, it's, it's between 60 and 70, right? So it's 65, 66, I think, 66 meters squared. And that it is choice number A. So to build intuition here, I have two things to develop our understanding. One, why is the area of a parallelogram base times height? Why is it so? Well, what I'll do here is I'll just do, I'll crop this thing this way, just to show you. And then if I press Control V, I assume that it's the same size, right? So if I put it here, Hmm, that won't work. My, my demo won't work. But essentially, imagine that we take this part and slide it here. It would be result exactly in this height. So that would be the base times the height, essentially. So it makes, if you take this triangle and put it here, you get a rectangle that's base times height. So that's the idea. Again, it's in the Khan Academy video, so I won't spend too, too much time thinking about this stuff. But the second thing is that, 
let's try to figure it out without finding the area of the parallelogram. So like this, and we have, let's split it up this way. We have that this, uh, this one is 11, that's 15, and then that's 12. So essentially we get that this triangle here is 15, or I'll do it dotted, 11 and 12. To find the area of a, the triangle, well, it's base times height divided by two. We know that the height is 11 meters, so it's going to be 12 times 11 divided by two, which is 132 divided by two, which is 66 meters squared. It's the same thing that should make sense and it confirms our answer. So that's great. All right. So thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next video of do the work.